Hello and welcome to Gardening at 58 North. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to clean your rubber plant leaves. So this one here I've had for several years and it's probably been actually about two or three years since I've given it a really good clean. As you can see it's quite a large plant but there's a lot of leaves that need cleaning on it. So I'll get you some close up shots now to see how dirty some of these leaves are. It tends to be the older ones because they've had the longest time to collect dust. You can see here very dusty. You can see how easily it comes off my finger there. This is a big problem for rubber plants. The leaves last for many years. As this plant is about five years old, and these leaves at the bottom came with the plant, some of them could be six years old. So leaves last there a long time. Because of that, there's plenty of time for the dust to accumulate. And what that does is it reduces the amount of light that can get to the plant. It also reduces the amount of oxygen and carbon dioxide it can take up through transpiration. So it really needs a good clean. The underside generally, they're not too bad, but I would also encourage to clean them as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead now and get started. But I'll show you quickly what I use to clean my plants. I just use generally household things that are lying around, anything that's easy enough to get obtainable. So these are the products that I'm actually gonna be using for cleaning these leaves. I'm gonna start off just with some plain old toilet paper. You could use a dusting cloth, um, but the idea is you start with this, you remove all the dust you can whilst it's dry. Once you get it pretty clean looking dry, then you get a sponge or an old cloth. Use warm soapy water to wipe off and rinse all the leaves, both sides, top and the bottom. Once that's done, you allow it to dry and then you just buff them to a nice shine using a, a dusting cloth or some kind of cloth that's nice and soft and you can use the buffet to a nice shine. So I'm just gonna set off my, uh, my camera now. I'll take a, a couple of uh, before and after shots as well, so you can get a good indication of how dusty it is. But as I say, the very worst leaves tend to be these ones here. The ones that are the older ones, but also they're, not, they're above some of the other ones. So these ones have probably been protected from the worst of the dust from the upper leaves. And I'll just get started, and the first thing I'll do is, uh, is some dusting. So I'm just going to start off with dusting it whilst it's still dry. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to use some toilet paper, but you could use a dusting cloth. It doesn't really matter. Something that's quite gentle on the leaves. And I'm just going to start by rubbing off all the top surfaces. I'm going to start at the top, work my way down. The reason for that is if you dust the bottom first and then you work your way up, the dust from the top leaves are going to fall down to the bottom ones. And you're just going to have to do things twice as often, twice as much. So the leaves on the rubber plants are pretty tough, you can be quite firm with them, they're not going to have much issue with you rubbing them down, they're quite strong leaves, so you can be quite tough, you don't worry too much about breaking them, but as I say, try and use soft materials if you can, you don't really want to scratch the leaves. So I'll give you a close up of this one, so you can see what I'll be doing with it. And I'm basically just going to be dusting off as much as I can with, the, with this. I mean, this is enough if you want to do a simple clean, but I will be doing the other processes with a damp cloth and also a, 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 a polishing cloth to get it to look really nice. So I'm just going to go around all the, all the leaves now and give them a good wipe like that, just to get rid of any superficial dust. So that's the rubber, whole rubber plant now dusted off. As you can see, it's already looking a lot better. It's nice kind of sheen to the leaves, looking quite nice. And you could leave it like this if you'd want to. Um, this gets rid of any surface dust gets rid of most of the blemishes that you've got from the dust and making it look not so nice and there's a bit of a sheen already on the leaves but I always like to take it a step further especially if you've got cooking in the same building or cooking in the same room because you often get oils and fats that build up on the leaves as well as dust so that's where you just need to get some warm water with some soap and wipe the top and also the underside of the leaves with that and that gets rid of a little bit more grime and you can be a little bit more abrasive with this method as well just to try and get rid of all, all the dirt completely so I'm going to zoom in again to a similar patch of leaves and show you how I would do this. So all you need is a damp cloth or a damp sponge with a tiny bit of soap detergent, the kind you use that you for your dishes, but you don't want a lot of it, you just need a little bit to help with the leaves. And you want to put your hand underneath the leaf to give it a bit of support, and you just want to wipe it down just like this. Give it a good wipe. It shouldn't need a scrub unless you've got a lot of cooking nearby and you've got some oils. If it feels sticky, and you've maybe you've been cooking in the area and then you need to give it a good scrub like this. But generally just a quick wipe. Same again with the bottom, just put your hand on it to support it. A quick wipe and that's all it needs. As you go throughout the whole plant doing that, just give the, uh, the cloth or the sponge a good rinse out between maybe every five or ten leaves. Make sure that it stays clean and just go over the whole plant like that. And then it'll be gone to the next stage which will be polishing and buffing up the leaves to make it have a really nice shine. 
So that's the plant now fully wiped down with the damp cloth. And you can see it's a little bit shinier, but it doesn't make a huge difference the damp cloth. What really makes a good shine is the dusting and also the polishing at the end. Now when you're doing all this cleaning on your plant, just be careful that if you do break a leaf or damage the stem, it will bleed quite a lot. You'll get a lot of white latex sap, but that can be quite an irritant. So just watch that whilst you're doing it. You might need to wash your skin afterwards as well. But generally, it should be fine. It's only really if the sap gets onto your skin. I'm going to just zoom into a leaf now and start polishing it. Before you polish it, you do want to let the plant completely dry out. You don't want any wet patches on it because it'll be a bit more difficult to polish if it's, if it's quite damp. So let the leaves dry out. Get a, 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 a cloth that's quite soft, that's something you can use to polish it with. So I'm just going to use this leaf here as an example. I'm going to give it a really good scrub, a really good polish. You can be quite fast with it with the motion, but as long as you don't push too hard. And if you can, try and get a, a cloth that's quite soft. You don't want to be too abrasive on the plant. So yes, again, you want to hold it from behind so that it's, it's um, supported. And then you just want to give it a really good buffing up with the, uh, with the cloth. So you can see there, hopefully it's visible on the camera, there's quite a bit more shine on it. And you can just go around and do that on all the leaves. Now the only leaves I wouldn't do it on are the more delicate young leaves. So just above that one, you can see there's a new leaf here. It's quite delicate. I wouldn't buff up and polish any of the new young leaves because they're, they're quite sensitive. They will be damaged if you buff them up. But the older ones are quite thick and they've got a layer of wax on the surface and you can easily just give them a really good polishing just like this. As long as you're supporting it from behind, you don't let the leaf bend too much. It shouldn't cause any damage. And you'll get a really nice shine on the leaf. So I'm just going to go over now the rest of the plant, give it all a nice polish, and we'll see how the final result looks. So that's a rubber plant now fully polished. You should be able to see it's quite a bit shinier. Certainly a lot shinier than when it first started, but even shinier still than when I did just with the wet cloth. So that's about it for this video, I think. So that's how you need some, all the steps you need to take to make your rubber plant nice and shiny. Now the other option you can use is, is the kind of a shortcut, is something called leaf shine. Um, I'm not a big fan of leaf shine to be honest because I think it's just kind of, a, it makes it look too fake, it looks too shiny. Um, this to me is quite a ni nice natural level of shine. But I'm just going to spray this now with leaf shine just to give you an idea of how shiny you can make a plant if you want it to be really really shiny. So I'm just going to go ahead now and spray it, it will look really wet. And then once it dries, it'll just kind of look a nice kind of shiny level. As I say, I, I personally find it a little bit too shiny. It looks almost like plastic or, or a fake plant. So that's the leaf shine applied. As you can see, it looks dripping wet. I'll just leave this now recording and you'll see it slowly dry over time. And it should look a little bit less wet and just kind of more shiny. The, um, the leaf shine, I have used it a lot in the past in, in a commercial setting. They used to work in garden centres and uh, it's quite a popular product. So often when you buy a plant, it might already be covered in leaf shine just to make it look extra healthy and shiny. You might notice that fades after a while. But to be honest, you don't really need leaf shine. It's just, a, you know, if you want it extra shiny looking. Also, it's a bit of a shortcut because technically you can use leaf shine without dusting it or wiping it off and you'll still get a nice shiny looking leaf, but you're not gonna have a, a, such a, health, a healthy plant if you do that, because if you don't take off all the dirt, and you just cover it up with this leaf shine, which is basically just a type of oil that it coats the leaves in, then you're not gonna get the same kind of health with the plant, because it's still got the dirt there, you just can't see it, so it'll still be blocking the sun from the plant, and kind of inhibiting the plant from breathing properly. So that's it for this video. Um, I'm gonna make a, another, another video soon, and that's gonna be repotting this plant, so, this is the video just for uh, cleaning the leaves, but if you're interested in repotting, there's going to be a link either in the iCard or the description below. You can have a look at me replanting this into a large um, self-watering pot.